Okay, so masks, I like to do demos without masks where possible, but Fiore points out that this was no good except in armor. Okay, and you're about to see why. Okay, so um, for the moment, just go ahead and give me a pendente. Okay. Oops, I got jammed in the brain here. Okay, even if I get them locked out here, don't spare me from any of that. Okay. This does not cover long, okay? The limit of my cover is in the X down here. Okay, so that's the first thing to remember about this one right here. So although we see the second master uh, uh, play is done with this cover, um, and it's in an apparently unarmored context, we've already been told, hey, you know, this is really an armored play, or uh, better off armored. Now I'm gonna ask Luke to take it to a reverso here. And we're going to use that. So his uh, reverso strike is coming in there, right. and I'm going to go ahead and cover by moving off here. And you can see, you can hear that I already got hit on that one. Okay, we're just going to kind of let that go for the moment. So now, at this point, having got myself in position here, I'm going to go ahead and seize his arm. This is a, just a nice, clean, simple thing to do. Seize his arm and roll him over. Okay, and we'll repeat this basic action when we do the third master. Okay, so he's coming in, I'm coming out here, I'm covering long. Did you see a, the way I moved to, to kind of get myself a little bit offline of that? Then it's here and around to there, okay? Let's reverse so I can show the motion of the hands a little bit. I'm gonna do it smoothly once a minute, okay? There, okay? Now, slow. He comes in here. This slides in, as we've been practicing much of the day, slides in for the grip. This one slides along the arm here. One more time, just, just set it there. This one ends up sliding along the arm here, finding the elbow, and then we rotate through the arm bar. Okay? So it's both motions happening at once. It's like you're, I mean, you rip phone books apart like that. Anyway, it's like you're pulling two different directions there for a second. Okay, but importantly, don't remove this and go looking for the elbow, okay? Instead, find the elbow by feel coming up against it there. And sometimes, you know, you might come in and you might get it on the palm. Um, I tend to like the sort of broad side of the barn approach for this one because I know I can get that whole thing in there and I've got a little error margin for error right there, but it could be palm as well. Okay, briefly, let's do that play. Uh, let's kind of go on this line. I think it'll show just something that popped up. Lauren was doing this uh, when he was working with Tyler, uh, and perhaps because he knows that it's better, he's safer if he gets behind his son instead of in front of his son. Could be. Uh, but it was just nice and slow because I'm not wearing the mask. He's coming around, he's getting this, and he was getting to the arm bar, which was fine, and then he did an accretion mental in. Okay, you weren't quite this deep, but you were pretty deep right there. And we've got an arm bar shoulder control, okay? Marshally, excellent, 100% full marks on that one. It's just not what I'm emphasizing in this particular execution of the play, um, which is, let's go back to this angle right here. What I'm emphasizing in this particular execution of the play is stretching him out. I just did third master tonight. Okay. Slow it down, because I don't want to get poked in the eye. Okay, nice and slow, okay? What I'm emphasizing in this particular execution of the play is stretching him out and taking his momentum in that direction, okay? Both valid, valuable concepts, both of them, okay? All right, so since I just did third master, we're about to do that. Go ahead and just do a stop start. <laughs> 